If you're a homeowner living in Northern Virginia or planning to become one, I'm going to be sharing an update on the latest real estate market trends from April of 2023. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video so that you can take advantage of some hidden opportunities, whether you're thinking about buying or selling. All right. Overall, from a high level perspective in April, there was about an average of two months of supply available in Northern Virginia. So Northern Virginia consists of Fairfax in Arlington counties and the cities of Alexandria and Falls Church. And if you want to dive a little deeper, the months of supply range from about 1.2 months for mid-tier priced single family homes, which are homes costing between $700,000 to $1 million, to three and a half months for luxury condos, but overall remain relatively lean among most segments of the market. All this to say, this still keeps things firmly in a seller's market territory in Northern Virginia. What does that mean? Months of supply tells you how many months it would take for all of the homes currently on the market to sell given the average sales volume. Four to six months of inventory indicates a more balanced market and less than four months means there's low inventory available, which can drive the prices up. More than six months of supply means there's a lot of properties available for buyers to choose from, which can drive the price down. How is that number trending versus last month? Well, in Northern Virginia, there was no movement. There were still two months of inventory in March, which doesn't surprise me as we've been experiencing record low inventory for the last couple of years. And I expect for this to continue as the homeowners who refinance their homes over the last several years at record low interest rates relish in their low monthly payments. As we head into the heat of the spring market, I expect more homes to come to market, but I wouldn't conclude that it's gonna pull us out of that seller's market. As buyers are increasingly becoming more comfortable with the new interest rate norms and taking advantage of opportunities to buy down the rate, the buyer demand could still outweigh the increase of inventory. The Northern Virginia real estate market has a diverse range of prices for homes. On average, a townhouse in Burke could cost $275,000, while a home in McLean can cost almost $3.9 million. The overall average of home priced in Northern Virginia is 534,152. That average price is down 11.63% versus this time last year, but it's up 2.85% versus last month. Again, this number reflects a wide range of prices across different areas. So while it may seem that pricing has stabilized, in my opinion, it could just be that this increase is possibly because of a surge in buyers due to the 30 year fixed mortgage rate declining a half a point from six and three quarters to about six and a quarter on March 30th, coupled with the low inventory levels. Moving along, the average list to price sales ratio was 100.1% in March, and in April, it was up to 101.2%. That simply means that properties were selling for over list price for about 1.2%. The current selling prices have experienced a notable increase compared to last month, although down from an impressive 116% as seen in March last year and 104% in April last year, where we witnessed a significant surge. I vividly remember that sudden shift that occurred in March of last year when the rates increased drastically in a short amount of time, causing a bit of a panic among buyers. Now, where you're looking at this stat, you've got to keep in mind that it has a lot to do with the strategy a seller uses when selling and listing their property. A year ago, everyone underpriced their homes tremendously because they only had the fall comps to go by and did not know that quarter one of last year would bring the lowest interest rates we've ever seen, coupled with critically low inventory, which enticed them intense bidding wars. We were seeing 17 to 25 offers on some homes. Although it would seem sellers aren't doing that these days, as they have a better grip on the market value of their homes, clearly bidding wars are still happening, but not to the extreme that we saw last year. It was truly heart-wrenching watching what those buyers had to endure, no matter what side of the transaction you were on. Now you might be wondering, how long is it taking for properties to sell? On average in April in Northern Virginia, it was taking 18 days for a property to sell. That is trending up from last month where it was taking 23 days on average and slightly up from last year where it only took 14 days on average to sell. So if you're planning to sell your home, it could take longer than it has in the past, but again, it depends on where you live, the condition of your home and how it's priced. That's why it's important not to pay attention to the national news when it comes to real estate, but to verify the facts in your local market. Okay, if you're thinking about buying real estate in the near future, mortgage rates are ranging between five and three quarters to 6.38%, depending if you are going with a fixed or a variable mortgage, a 
15-year term or a 30-year term, and whether you're getting financing through a bank or an alternative lender. Additionally, there are options available to lower your interest rate. You can choose to buy down the rate, which means paying a certain amount up front to decrease the rate. This can have a significant impact on your purchasing power, allowing you to afford a more expensive property or lower your monthly mortgage payments. So in summary, when you look at the April's market statistics, things look like they are heating up. Spring is in the air, and even though this is the fourth consecutive monthly increase in buyer demand, it's still too early to call it. March is a notoriously low inventory month, and demand is usually higher than you'd think. And in April, we saw the relief in the rate in addition to the low inventory, which also results in an upward pressure on pricing. So to me, we're going to continue to see the demand at a steady pace in May with a number of millennial buyers out there, the lowest interest rates we've seen this year, and all the homeowners that refinance aren't super motivated to sell because again, they're enjoying their lower than 3% interest rates. However, we are seeing that inventory is slightly increasing this month in May already. Either way, one really important thing to understand is that macro level market statistics really mean nothing in Northern Virginia. What's happening in Fairfax County as a whole, for example, can be completely different than what's happening in Arlington County or some further out pockets of Fairfax County. And even within Fairfax County, there are different micro markets everywhere. For instance, if you're thinking of selling in Arlington, Virginia, you may actually see multiple offers if you've got a desirable home that's priced under 1.5 million. Not 20 offers like we've seen in previous years, but still a few offers. If you are looking to get into the market, a great place to start is a condo in DC under $600,000. Many of them are sitting on the market for well over two weeks, so competition is relatively low compared to other years and compared to the closer in neighborhoods in Northern Virginia market. I love this as a three to five year plan for people because when you are ready to upgrade, you could entertain the opportunity of keeping the condo and renting it out because the rental market in DC is always strong. Moreover, if you partner with an experienced local direct lender who can assess your unique financial situation holistically, sometimes buying down the mortgage rate is an effective strategy to consider when aiming to increase your purchasing power and save money in the long run, allowing you to take advantage of today's home prices and refinancing later in 18 months to 24 months when the rates come back down. Although, I would not hold your breath for any rates to come down to the low threes again for a really long time. So the bottom line is that whether you're buying or selling, your situation is unique and a general market update should be taken with a grain of salt. If you want an accurate market analysis for your home or if you're thinking of buying and want to know where your hidden opportunities may lie, you can either request a free no obligation market evaluation with me or you can book a call with me and we can have a no pressure conversation about your options. I'll always just give you the straight goods so that you're informed to make the best decision that's right for you and your family based on your goals. If that would be helpful, you can click the link in the description below and schedule a time to chat. Otherwise, feel free to check out my other videos and I'll be back next month with an updated report. See you soon.